A day after the memorial service of George Floyd, protests in the United States have intensified. A number of monuments and statues having colonial history is being pulled down. Massive crowds of demonstrators are taken to the streets and they are demanding that the country bring in the required changes in its police departments. Hundreds of protesters in Boston, Massachusetts took to the streets blocked roads and intersections holding a massive rally before a government building the protesters held placards and shouted slogans against police brutality they are also demanding that the state authority defund the boston police department civil rights activists and several other african-american community leaders gathered to protest against the killing of george floyd in oakland in california the demonstrators demanded that authorities remove police officers from schools across the U.S. The proposal comes at a time when race-related violence in the U.S. is at its peak in the recent years. It was drafted and countless days knocking on doors in the rain, in the heat, and listening to the people in our community who said, we don't want police in schools. We want teachers. We want librarians. We want public health, we want nurses, we want arts programs, we want ethnic studies. And we listened to those folks and we brought them together. Officials in the White House have reduced the metal fencing along the east side of the building that was once raised to ensure security right after the death of George Floyd. Nationwide protests and unrest was sparked across the U.S. on the 25th of May when George Floyd, an unarmed African-American, died in the custody of the Minneapolis Police Department.